Hello and welcome to HPR. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. Graft versus host disease, or GVHD, it's, it's a rare disease that commonly impacts uh, blood and marrow transplant recipients who receive those cells from a donor. Living with uh, this condition can be very overwhelming for patients as well as their caregivers and their families. Joining us now to bring awareness to this rare condition is Dr. Corey Cutler and GVHD patient Meredith Cowden. Thank you both for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. Thank you. Well, Dr. Cutler, what is graft versus host disease? I gave a brief description in the opening, but go into more detail if you would. Of course. So graft versus host disease is a medical condition that occurs after a transplant from one individual to another of bone marrow or stem cells. When we transplant marrow or stem cells, we're effectively transplanting a new immune system from a donor into a recipient or a host. That immune system is foreign to the body it now finds itself in. And as we know, the immune system's job is to reject foreign things. So the donated immune system finds itself in a position to reject the host tissues and organs. This can be manifest in a number of different ways, Just about any organ system can be involved. The skin, the eyes, the mouth, the lungs, the liver, you name it, can all be involved. And each patient has a different manifestation, a different organ involvement, and a different degree of severity of their graft versus host disease. Is this a 100% guarantee that you're going to develop GVHD if you have this type of transplant, or are specific people impacted? Absolutely not. So not everyone is affected by graft versus host disease. We do our best to match donor and recipient pairs prior to a bone marrow transplant, and we give medications to prevent graft versus host disease. While everyone is at risk, only a proportion, uh, somewhere between 20 and 50 percent of our recipients develop graft versus host disease. We can't predict who that's going to be. We can't yet predict at what point it's going to occur after a transplant, but when it does occur, the effects can actually be devastating. Meredith, tell us a bit about your journey with GVHD. What was going on when you were uh, affected? Yeah, so I I, uh, developed leukemia when I was 19 years old, and so then I had a bone marrow transplant, and my sister was my donor, and she was the perfect match, and so we thought this is going to be great, it's going to be perfect. And then uh, shortly after my transplant, I developed acute graft-versus host disease, and then I developed chronic graft-versus host disease. So I've I've been living with this for a little over 20 years, and it's you know manifested me in a in a bunch of different ways. And so it started out as a burning rash that I got, and then it you know turned into stuff uh, with my GI tract, and then it you know turned into now it's more focused. The things that I'm dealing with now are more within my lungs and my musculoskeletal system. So, you know, I, I, it, it really, it's, you never really know what to expect and, you know, everything is kind of a surprise. So it's a little, it's a little like a roller coaster. Were you aware that this was a possibility when you were diagnosed and your sister was identified as a a match? Were you aware that this was a possibility? And is this something that is discussed normally under these circumstances? Yeah, so I I was made it's it's an interesting thing because I was made aware of you know that this is something that can happen, um, and it's you know it's it's one of those conversations that's a tricky conversation to have because you know you have this patient who is who has some kind of blood disease and they need a bone marrow transplant and all of that's very scary in and of itself anyway and so then having a conversation and explaining you could also get this disease too you know and so that and so it's it's one i think it's it's a challenging conversation for the provider and two it's difficult for the patient because i know for myself when my doctor talked to me about this as a possibility i probably only heard about half of what he was saying to me because i was so focused on i need this transplant i have leukemia okay you know like all of this stuff going through my head and so they do there is the conversation it does happen and i think you know one of the things about it is that it it might be a conversation that needs to be had 
more frequently or frequently if some places are, are not doing that. And really, especially to help patients know what they need to look for in terms of possible symptoms so then they can talk to their doctor about that. Well, being such a challenging conversation to have with so many different little subtle nuances, what's the best way to advocate for someone with GVHD? How do you go about it? Yeah, so I always always say, you know, the best thing to do is to learn. Learn, educate yourself, do the research, you know, find out as much information as you can. And, you know, so that way then you know, in addition to the information that your doctor is providing to you, you also know from other resources, okay, so this is a possible symptom, this is a possible symptom, this is happening, maybe I should send a picture to my doctor and see what's going on for me. And so really look into different places to find as much information so then you can take that to your treatment team and become part of the team and really, you know, work for the best life and the best outcome you can possibly get. Tell us about the GVHD Alliance and talk about the inaugural uh, GVHD Day coming up. So uh, I'll start and pass it over to Meredith, but the GVHD Alliance, uh, as uh, Meredith has alluded to, is really a one-stop resource for patients, their families, and their caregivers to learn more about graft-versus-host disease. The whole point of our GVHD day is to bring awareness to this condition. Uh, We want to point our patients and their caregivers to our website, which is gvhdalliance.org, where they can gather as much information about the disease and the condition as they can. That's really the whole point of of our mission here today. Well, you did give us that website. Is there anything that either of you would like to add for our listeners, Uh, maybe uh, the major takeaway? And when is GVHD uh, coming up? GVHD Day will occur on February 17th, 2023. It's a day at our annual transplant and cell therapy conference where we'll all gather together and really try to bring some focus to this condition, bring awareness, uh, launch uh, some of the activities, And uh, we really hope, as a main takeaway, that patients access the website so that they can recognize their symptoms early, report their symptoms, and therefore end up with better outcomes from their disease. Dr. Corey Cutler, Meredith Cowden, thank you both for joining us here on HPR this morning. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Corey Cutler and Meredith Cowden. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.com. FM and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download it, Anchor, Spotify, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.